Nobody's walking. Thank God for that. I went to my computer. Checked the messages I had. Then I felt really low down. When I read the news. That Frank 78 would send me the tagging news I got to Tagged. And I guess I have to tell you five facts about myself. So we'll start with how I got my nickname Daddy Stovepipe. Well, this goes way back when I was really young, about 18, 19 years old, I guess. And in those days, I was a rather successful porn star. Yeah, I hear you thinking, <laughs> but somebody has to do it, of course. <laughs> well, that's a joke, of course, uh, and a bit of wishful thinking, maybe, but it's not the truth. The real truth is that uh, my family has been in the stovepipe business since five generations now, and unfortunately, I'm the last one that still does it. And uh, you can imagine that uh, it's a bit of a hard struggle surviving selling stovepipes with all the central heating systems now, but yet I manage. Because I only make very expensive uh, original design stovepipes and my main clientele are those filthy rich oil cheeks. And they still live in the desert, uh, they still have a tent in the desert that uh, needs a stovepipe and stove because it can be very cold in the desert and this is an example. And uh, this is not a finished one, it's pure silver although, but I still have to etch some uh, erotic designs in it so that when the shrinks enter their tent they are really getting in the mood. So uh, that's another figment of my imagination I'm afraid, so where is the real truth? The real truth is that, it's usually trivial the real truth, that when I wanted to become a member of the Winnie Campbell site, which is as a a rather purist country blues site. Um, you have to uh, subscribe and put in a user's name, like, it, like with YouTube. And I tried several blues related names, but they all were rejected because they were taken, like Easy Rider or something like that. So I really got fed up and I took my story of the blues book, the first blues book I ever bought. When I was 14 years old, has a lot of nice pictures in it and I decided I'm going to open it and see which picture comes out and that's the name I'm going to take. And it came on this picture here and that's a guy called Daddy Stovepipe. He's playing his guitar in Maxwell Street, Chicago. So there you go, now you know. Now about uh, fact number two, I'm Belgian. So it doesn't come as a surprise that I'm a chocolateholic, yeah. That's my weakness, I'm afraid. Um, fact number three, I like wearing Panama hats. And I'll tell you why. Uh, when playing my rather depressing and uh, dark blues music, I think a uh, nice, cheerful, sunny Panama hat like this one here makes a nice contrast. So that's the reason why I put on these hats. So. Fact number four, I have to admit this is not my real hair color. I'm nicely even brown, but I've put this little bit of gray on it so I could come over more convincingly as an elder blues man. So that's another fact you know now. And finally, uh, yes, I have a guitar you haven't seen yet. You have seen so many guitars, but this one you haven't seen yet. It's a flamenco guitar, yeah. I can't play uh, flamenco, of course. But I will play eventually some songs more in the jazz vein of this guitar, so... That are, those are five facts about me. Uh, there's a lot of more to tell, but maybe that's for another video. Uh, I still have to tag other people, and you can read about this in uh, about this video, so... Ta-ta!